Dane here from Start Here FM and Dane.io, and today I wanted to come at you with a topic I get asked about quite a lot, and that is how do I build an effective portfolio as a newbie, as a beginner, somebody that has no experience? I have a step-by-step -step formula, and I'm going to lay it out for you. It's sort of associated with the Advanced Beginner Challenge and other formulas that I've given you. This one is is obviously different because it includes things like making sure your website is live and stuff like that. And we're going to have other videos where we necessarily kind of cover more social media, more blogging, more social presence, more online presence stuff. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to touch on it briefly. So how do you build a portfolio? So I'm going to, I'm going to lay out the formula first and then I'll go back through it and we can sort of dissect it. I don't want this video, video to be too long. I like these around 10 minutes cause it's di nice and digestible for you. So I'm again, I'm just going to lay, lay out the steps and then we can sort of dissect it or go through them. So step one is to create a website with your name.com, .org, .co, whatever. Step two, is to start doing projects and to complete the Advanced Beginner Challenge. By completing the Advanced Beginner Challenge, you will have done projects that are full apps. And then you will, ha you will have deployed those apps because a lot of those tutorials teach you how to deploy it on Heroku for free. So now step one is get a website, yourname.com. Just make it some kind of WordPress site. And uh, trust me, I'm giving you... <laughs> years and years of trial and error doing it custom just make a bloody wordpress site for now then make sure the theme looks nice go to themeforest.net and spend 35 dollars on a nice theme clean minimal responsive theme just keep it super chill right so your investment so far is 15 dollars plus 35 dollars roughly for a domain and a theme this will get you most things done, right? And then let's also get like hosting. So you can go to DigitalOcean or GoDaddy or something like that and get WordPress hosting and then point it at your, uh, you know, point the domain at your WordPress hosting and then install the theme on your WordPress, okay? Then in the WordPress, create a home, in the you, it'll be default homepage with your posts. We'll talk about that in a minute. Go to the nav bar section and change the nav bar such that it says home about projects contact. Home about projects contact. Then that's it. Make the projects page a blank page on your CMS called projects. Okay, done. So this is kind of step one, right? Getting the website set up, getting your domain name set up, blah, blah, blah. Step two, complete the advanced beginner challenge. Every time that you complete a tutorial in the Advanced Beginner Challenge, what I want you to do is take that tutorial, deploy it, make sure it's fully deployed, and then put that on your projects page. And here's what I mean by that. Go to that blank projects page and put the name, so make a bulleted list. It doesn't have to be complicated. Make a bulleted list in the first bullet, put the name of the project. I'm sure the tutorial gave you a name for the app. Put the name of the app, make a sub bullet, write a quick description of what you learned doing this or what your favorite things are, what you were passionate about most doing this project. Make that the sub bullet of the primary bullet and then make the name of the project in the primary bullet link to the live application, okay? And you don't have to use bullets for this. You can just use sections of the page. Then go to the live application. Take a screenshot of the home page or the, where, the application page or whatever it is. Literally, don't get too complicated about this. Just take a screenshot of it. Then go back to the website at the, the projects page and make that the like cover. So put the image and then under the image, put the name of the project with the link. And then under that, put a little short paragraph of what you learned or what you're most passionate about or what you're most interested in from, from having learned that. Um, so that's so that's what you do. Okay, so now you have, and the, this is hard, right? This, is, I'm, this could be a three-month process for some of you. The Advanced Beginner Challenge is very hard. So I'm kind of baking a lot into these steps. So the first step, 
get your domain, get your website. And I walked you through how to do that. Go to GoDaddy, go to, you know, uh, theme Forest, get a nice theme. Make sure this step is done properly. Look at my website, Dane.io, as an example of this. Then implement something similar. For you, the how can I help you link is going to be called projects, right? So you, again, your li links are home, about, projects, contact. Okay, the only and then step two, complete the advanced beginner challenge. And there's another video on that. I'll link it below the advanced beginner challenge. Step three, now that you've got the Advanced Beginner Challenge completed and you have a couple of projects that are deployed that you literally just followed step-by-step -step tutorials to complete, link those and put those onto your website, okay? So you've got that done. You have the projects page. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna round out the rest of your website really quickly so that we can call this a portfolio. The entire website is your portfolio. It's not just the page that says portfolio. And even beyond that, your port personality is your portfolio, your Twitter is your portfolio, but I'm gonna keep this focused for now. We can talk about Twitter later and all this stuff. For now, just keep in mind that the website itself is your portfolio, right? Okay, so let's round out the website briefly and then we can end this video. So you have the projects page, and it's got like some stuff in it and then you, the rest of the website's kind of blank, right? Okay, Num step number one, get a bunch of blog posts created that are filled with dummy text. Create like 10 blog posts, space them out over different dates and then fill them with like lorem mipsum text for two paragraphs and then post those and that's it. This will give your homepage a little bit of data and allow you to look at it and see what looks best, okay? So then go to the homepage, you, su you should see all these dummy blog posts. Step one, done. Step two, go to the about page. Get a photo of yourself. I don't care what you think about this. I know a lot of you are hesitant to take photos of yourself. You're introverted, you're, so sh you're socially shy. Guess what I am too? right? But I'm recording a video right now. You have no idea how hard this is for me, right? So I'm not extroverted or magical. I'm more introverted than you are. I can guarantee it. I'm more shy than you are. I have more anxiety than you do. I guarantee it, okay? You have to overcome all that. And the way that you're going to do that to start, just a small step, put your picture on your about page. Go to my about page, dane.io slash about. Look at how I did it. There's a little bit of text. It doesn't have to be as much as I did. There's a little bit of text, a picture, and that's it. Just keep it simple, right? Keep it simple. A little bit of text, a picture, and that's it. And I'm going to give you a little formula on how to write your text on your about page, okay? Put something about your current situation, something about what you're passionate about, something about where you live or where you want to live, where you're going to get jobs at, Something about your relationship with your girlfriend or cat or dog or, you know, something kind of family oriented. So try to round out your about page, right? Be like, you know, hi, my name's Sam. Picture, right? Below that, I am so passionate about front-end development. I love blank. JavaScript, React. I love Redux. I'm obsessed with reactive programming. I love backend and I'm obsessed with machine learning or neural networks or blah, blah, blah. Then put my interests outside of work include whatever it is, chopping wood, canoeing, hiking, you know, making coffee, like whatever it is for you, right? Hanging out with my girlfriend, hanging out with my family, going to see baseball games, whatever your passion is, biking, rowing, running, you know, a health passion, try to put health, try to put a few health passions. Don't just be like, don't just be like, I play video games all the time or something like that. That's the opposite of what we're trying to do. We're trying to present you in a positive manner. So put some of your health passions there. And if you don't have any health passions, time to rethink your life, my friend, literally. So put your health passions there, okay? Then you've, okay, so you're done with, that's it. About page is done. And I'm giving you this formula, what worked for me to close clients, to get jobs without knowing anything, right? You have to get your foot in the door. And the only way you can get your foot in the door is if you look like somebody who deserves to be there, right? So we're, this is how you do it, okay? 
So you have your home page filled with the dummy text. You have your about page, picture, text, done. Step three, projects page. You've already done that, right? We described that already, so done. Step four, contact page. Very, very simple. It just has your email and it says, please contact me if you have any questions or need or have any opportunities or want, you know, just put a little text there like, please feel free to contact me for any reason. And then put your email. Now, I recommend putting your email and then bracket at bracket because web crawlers will pick up your email and spam you. Um, so do it in a clever way. But now you have your contact page. So now you have your homepage, about page, projects, contact. This is a complete portfolio. I see people making portfolios way too complicated. They think they have to have a fancy website and it has to be custom built. And it has to be built with React and Redux because they want to be a JavaScript developer. And then on top of that, they have to have stuff to put in the portfolio that they built on React and Redux that they don't even know what they're doing. It's like you've made this so complicated that you're literally never going to do it. What you have to do is you have to make it so simple that it seems stupid. Most things that I have been able to do are because I found somebody who showed me how to make them so simple that they seem stupid because then it tricks your brain into just doing it, right? I think I talked about this in a previous video, but it's either trick or be tricked, right? You trick your brain or your brain is being tricked. And this is true for marketing. It's true for advertising. It's true for playing poker. If you're not, if you don't know who the sucker is, you're the sucker, right? It's true for tricking your brain to be productive, right? So it's, it's applicable in, in, across every area of life, but I find very few people actually apply it. So trick your brain, and in this scenario, we're saying trick, you know, trick your brain into thinking that this project isn't as big as it is, right? A portfolio. It's just what we discussed. It's just a website that you buy from ThemeForest for 30 bucks and install with one click and then it's like a couple of buttons in WordPress to add the about pages. It's a couple of buttons to add the, the projects page. Then you do the advanced beginner challenge, which is the hard work. Do the tutorials. But guess what? That's not even that hard. Just follow the tutorials step by step for the love of God. Now that you've done that, and again, I'm not trying to teach you how to cheat anything. I'm trying to make it so that you can get into a job because I know you're going to learn everything you need there, not before that. And also opportunity cost, right? So, you know, once you've got the projects page, we've showed you how to do the advanced beginner challenge and really add some content to that page. Then one other page, contact, and you're done. That's your portfolio, okay? In another video, we're gonna go on to how to actually send your portfolio to people. But in this video, this covers how to build a portfolio, AKA your website, with a projects page that has projects that you weren't paid for, that you didn't have to go out and find in a hard way. This is a realistic process. This is realistic for you. So I hope you apply this. Comment below and let me know if you're gonna apply this and link your website. If you want more traffic, we'll all go and check it out and we'll leave you comments and talk about what we think. Cool, thanks so much guys, talk to you soon.